So I switched from this one Hey YouTube, how you doing today? I have a great video. I've done a bunch of research on this computer, which is the Gigabyte Aero 15, the 11th gen Intel 11800H processor, along with the NVIDIA GeForce 3080 graphics card. And I could not find a video that just showed me the entire process of how to eliminate my original SSD drive and put in the two WD Black SN850 writing speeds are unbelievable. I, I love it so far. It is great. But we are going to walk through this process and I'm going to show you the entire setup. That way when this is completely done, you can get started on your computer all over again. Let's get to it. Okay, first off, when you install your WD Black, you want to come in here to Disk Management. And it will have, it will be unallocated. And your primary partition will be Windows C, which is will be right here. Your WD Black will be right here. Now, I have already done this whole process, but I just want to show a video on this because I could not find a video on start to finish on everything to simplify this because people don't really want anyone to know because you want it, they want you to take it to the store and and uh, I was lucky to figure all this out so I'm making a video on it to help anybody else out you want to right click it'll say format video to simplest form that's what it will say it's not saying that now that's what you want to do and it'll be the top option and then it'll format it and it will turn blue after that you are ready to go so then you want to go into this program called Marcrium reflect start this program up it'll be a free it's all free so you want to clone this will be your original hard drive this will be your new WD black or whatever one you decide to use hit clone this disk then it will say select disk to clone and you want to go ahead and hit your WD black or whatever one you decide to clone like I've said you want to hit copy partition shrink or extend the target disk that's what you want because you want the ex I'm cloning a terabyte to terabyte so I want the exact partition to be the exact partition I don't want to change nothing I'm not cloning from one terabyte to a two terabyte or from a gigabyte to a terabyte I'm cloning from a terabyte to a terabyte and then all you want to do is hit next and my computer took about three minutes to do and it was completely done once you have completed that that will be done then your next step will be to go into BIOS and I don't know if it's gonna let me record my screen going into BIOS I'm gonna try it we'll see if it does but if it doesn't I have my camera I can show you on there so all you want to do is go into restart and get ready to hit F2. You hit F2. So now you're into BIOS. So when uh, you do this, your mouse is useless and you want to come over here to boot. Hit enter and see as you can see it'll mine has boot manager WD black. SN850. Before you take out your other SSD drive, it'll have both bootable disks. And you want to go ahead and switch from your original to your new WD Black. And then come over and hit save and exit. 
That's it. That's all you have to do for BIOS. It's very simple. Once you do that, your computer boots off your WD Black and it does open up like mine is about to, I hope. <laughs> I guess I had some updates. So no, I wasn't able to record the screen. It shut everything off. So once you're done with BIOS, your computer is good. And now you can install your other hard drive. Once you have changed the boot sequence and you are now booting off the WD Black, you can take out your original SSD drive and install your second WD Black. So now I will walk you through that process. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, obviously, unplug your computer. Second thing, make sure you have your tool set on hand. You want to go ahead and flip over your computer. This was a T6. You got your T6. And it does help to magnetize this. If you have a magnetizer, that'd be great. So you can just put it here for a little bit. That way, if you drop a screw, anywhere in the computer it's not gonna destroy your computer so I'm sure you guys don't want to watch this I'll speed this up So you want to find a spot here and lift up. Oh, there we go. You don't want to lift up too hard because there's tabs all over this. There we go. First thing you want to do is disconnect the battery. First and foremost, that's inevitable. This is where the original SSD drive was installed. At this point now it states that both of these are M2 compatible but for some reason I do not believe this one is because I installed the SSD drive W black in this one left my original one in there and you know did the process mirrored it then I took this one out and left it in here and it just did not seem like it was running that fast. So no matter what, when you go into BIOS, Bi BIOS, uh, I showed you, it shows that you are booting off the WD Black. So I switched from this one over to this, and then I installed my second SSD W Black. Now, as you can see, these are Phillips, I don't know if um, you can, but anyway, um, it doesn't really matter. You get the idea. It's not that difficult. So the process goes, leave your original in, install your WD Black here, or whatever SS drive you choose to use. Then you mirror it. Then you go into BIOS and change the booting sequence to whatever drive you're using. Switch your bootable drive over to slot one. Install your new, or your, I should say, your second SSD drive into number two. That leaves you with two terabytes. And that's it. It's pretty simple. That's the tutorial on how to uh, clone one drive and make it bootable and 
uh, use it to boot off of and make your computer faster. So um, I appreciate you guys watching. And, and another thing, make sure that when you do have the WD Black right here, bam, that uh, you have to download also the dashboard for it, which is a performance guide it also um it updates the firmware on it so make sure you do that like i said it's um it's it's working really well it's way faster i love this computer it's awesome so um i guess to the next video and uh whatever that may be so we'll see you next time thanks